In our previous video, we talked about how stars that are similar in size to our sun use the proton-proton chain to produce energy. But massive stars that are hotter and heavier rely on a more powerful process called the CNO cycle. In this cycle, instead of two protons fusing directly, a carbon-12 nucleus acts as the initial catalyst. The carbon-12 first captures a proton forming nitrogen-13, which then decays into carbon-13 by emitting a positron and a neutrino. Next, that same carbon-13 captures another proton, becoming nitrogen-14, which captures yet another proton to become oxygen-15. Now that oxygen-15 decays into nitrogen-15 by emitting a positron and a neutrino. And finally, one last proton is captured by the nitrogen-15, splitting it into helium-4 and carbon-12, which starts the CNO cycle all over again. Throughout this loop, four protons become one helium nucleus, which releases energy, similar to the proton-proton chain. Now, massive stars rely on the CNO cycle because their hotter cores can actually sustain it, and it fuses hydrogen far more quickly than the proton-proton chain. But what happens when a star runs out of hydrogen to burn? They're going to have to rely on another unique nuclear fusion process.